Okay, so I said that if you only wanted, if you wanted to, to, to sorry, if you were only going to watch one video on this series, it would be this one. And so to give you the very short formulaic method um, for Gottman, give me a second, I'm going to pause and I'll be right back and then tell you. Okay. So if you go to, if, if you get the Marriage Minute or you find the Small Things Often podcast, they have this broken out for you. So don't just take my word for it. But basically the short version of this discussion is when this thing happened, when X happened, I felt Y. I felt a particular way. Not you, but I. When X happened, I felt Y. If applicable, this is due to an enduring vulnerability, X, Y, Z. When you yelled at me, I felt really attacked. This is because when I was little, every time that my parents would yell at me, I, I just felt so terrible and I was never comforted afterwards. So I have this enduring vulnerability about raised voices, right? I can take ownership in that. So you have to take ownership, no matter how small. I can take ownership in that. Let's say you were fighting about the gas tank being empty. I can take ownership in that. I probably should have filled up the gas earlier. I can take ownership in that, you know, we've been nitpicking each other all week and we haven't addressed those issues. I can take ownership in that. I've been really stressed about work and haven't really been dedicating the right time to our relationship. Something, no matter how small, you have to take ownership. What I needed from you was, what I needed from you was instead of yelling at me about the gas tank being empty, just reminding me, and I already felt, I feel bad about it, I felt bad about it. What I needed was a resolution without the yelling. That's the very, very short version of this. And I really do recommend you, you go back, either read the book, right, or go back and watch the videos on working through your messes big and small. There's a build up to it. Um, you know, you may feel like, wow, you know, this is the formula, it'll work. And I can tell you that especially in this day and age where a lot of our communication is digital, um, if I can take a step back, like if, if I'm talking to somebody live in person and I try to use the formula, it, it may not work so well um, because we're people, not robots. But if I have a chance like either through email or text where I can kind of like, okay, this is the method. I need to make sure that I take ownership. I need to express my feelings. I, I need to, um, you know, say what it was that I needed as opposed to telling them what they did wrong, et cetera, et cetera. If I can kind of think about it and write it out before I talk to the person, it tends to work a lot better. Um, so yeah, if you're only going to watch one video, watch this one, tell your friends. Um, it comes best from, you know, straight from the horse's mouth. So check out the Gottman Institute, subscribe to their Marriage Minute. Also do uh, look at their podcast, which is under five minutes each, and it tells you everything that you can find in the books. So look forward to talking with you next time. Um, that's where we're going to talk about recovering from infidelity. Take care, y'all.